Hi, this is Prof Halle here from The Ultimate Fashion History and I'm a fashion history teacher and uh, whenever I do the 1940s with my kids at school they always want to know how to do 1940s victory rolls and they assume that this hairdo because it's so complicated must have been very difficult to achieve when in fact it's one of the easiest and quickest hairdos to do. So instead of schlepping all of my hair stuff into school and doing a tutorial to explain, what I thought I would do is make a little video and share it with everyone who wants to achieve 1940s victory rolls in the authentic, perfect 1940s way. The first thing you need are these. These are called rats. Um, they're not real rats, obviously. That would be grotesque. These are little sponge hair foundations. You can get them off the internet and um, they usually come like this, a little bit longer, but then you cut them to size. I have very short hair at the moment, more of a 1930s hair, um, so I cut these short. What else do you need? You need bobby pins and an awful lot of hairspray. All right, set your timers. I am going to show you how to get 1940s perfect, authentic victory rolls in less than one minute. All right, I've got a mirror here. I'm going to use that because it's easier than doing it in the screen. The first thing I'm going to do is section off the hair that I want to roll, like this at the front. Then I get one of these babies, one of these rolls, and I roll my hair around it, scooping up any hair that falls free, like this. Do you see what I'm doing here? and I tilt it forward. A lot of people forget to tilt their victory rolls forward. Then you pin it. You have to make sure though that that sponge, that rat, is far enough back so that it isn't visible because that is not a good look. And then the great thing about these sponges is that the bobby pins go straight through. See? So I want that a little bit forward still. Pin that and then this is where the hairspray is invaluable especially if you have shorter hair like mine. You do get slight wispy bits that you want to smooth out like that. So that's one side done, looking quite good. I'm doing this quickly. If I was doing this properly to go to a 1940s event, I would take more time. Then, because I have a side part, I'm going to do a big victory roll on the other side like this. Get my rat, roll it around. This is actually easier because I have more hair this side. Like this, tilt it forward. Don't forget the forward tilt. Terribly important. Uh, pin it like so. And back here, making sure that all of the foam is covered. That's really important. We don't want the foam showing. There we go. Spray it. Get all those wispy bits nice and smooth. And there we have it. The perfect and fast 1940s victory rolls. I don't have quite long enough hair, so what I would do if I was going out with shorter hair, I would pin it up at the back, like this, for more of a sort of Betty Davis look. And then, if you want to be really authentic, you can add a flower. So there we go. Obviously, this took me longer than a minute because I was explaining and showing you all of our tools. But I think this is great holiday hair. It hair. It's easy holiday hair. Great for any kind of retro event. And my goodness, perfect victory rolls. See you back on the Ultimate Fashion History Proper Channel. Bye.